Next news is out of Austria. Austria approves headscarf ban in primary schools. Austrian MPs have approved a law aimed at banning the headscarf in primary schools, a measure proposed by the ruling right-wing government. The text refers to any ide ideology or religiously influenced clothing which is associated with the covering of the head. The government said that the patka head covering worn by Sikh boys or the Jewish kippah would not be affected. Um, I I support this because it's like children, right? I mean, hijab is. I don't know if people understand what the hijab means. Like they Muslims in the West are saying something that is completely different from what we were told throughout our childhood about what the, what the point of hijab is, right? It's like, oh, it's my identity. Oh, I'm doing it for Allah. Oh, it's just me practicing my religious belief. No, it's about sexualizing women and not tempting men to rape them. Okay, so f that's the whole point of hijab. Okay, it's the whole point of hijab is men protecting their property from other men. Okay, that's how that's why the hijab is there. There's not there's no other reasons out there. Okay, it was Omar that pressured Muhammad into anyways. No, no not gonna go to the theological arguments on that, right? It was originally for Muhammad's wives, but then Omar decided like, well, what was good for Muhammad's wives is good for everyone. Um, but, um, but, so think about it. The, the point of hijab is like, yeah, this is, women are sexy. We need to make them less sexy. So think about that when you put that on a six year old. Okay. What are you saying when you put a hijab on a six year old? Yeah. You're saying my six year old. Okay. I'm not going to say it. That's going <laughs> to, <that's gonna> <laughs> please that's, don't. <laughs> that's going to be taken out of context. That was um, but you get the picture, right? You're sexualizing children. This this should not be allowed. And other people are like, well, this is not Islamic because in Islam, you're you're supposed to put hijab only when you reach uh, maturity, right? No bullshit. You're not. You're not. You the the understanding is that you're permitted to put on children. Okay, you are permitted. You don't have to put it on children, but you are, it's not like, oh, you have to wait. No, you can wait, right? You can wait for, in, in Iran is like age nine, which I, nine apparently women mature by age nine. You know why they pick nine? Because you should be able to get married by age nine. That's why apparently they mature by age nine. Anyway, so you, you, you're not allowed, you don't have to wear the hijab until the age of maturity, nine, but, you could put, you are allowed to put it on children as, as young as, you know, zero. Um, but a lot of parents, a lot of Muslim parents think that we have to make this a habit before you, you, because once you hit age nine, for example, again, I know different ages, different places. Some Muslims say like, no, it's not a s s certain age. Well, in Iran, they say, no, it's, for, it's nine. Okay. Uh, but. But the thing is that given that it's, it, you have to put it on in public by age nine, they think it's, it's better to start putting it on earlier, like six, five, most of the time so that you get into the habit. So by age nine, it's not like a too much, too much, right? Because if you just never wear it and all of a sudden by age nine, you have to wear it all the time, you're going to resist it. So you might ease into it. So that's why they, a lot of Muslim parents put hijab on their, children before age before immaturity the the point is that when you when you think that hijab is mandatory for your children that is sick that is sexualizing children and it shouldn't be allowed it shouldn't so what um so it says like austria approves headscarf ban in primary schools and a lot of people are like well that's that's not good that's too much government getting involved you know what i say the the news should have been Austria approves headscarf ban for children everywhere, everywhere, not just in schools, not just in public schools, not just in private schools, everywhere because you're sexualizing children. You should not be allowed to do that to your children. That's the whole purpose of a job. The whole purpose of a job is to treat women like nothing other than sex objects. Nothing other than sex, well, and 
baby making machines. Um, so some some atheists again, I wrote this down because I wanted to make sure because I noticed some some atheists were saying, "Well, why just say a job? We have to be consistent. Um, everything everything religious should be banned in school." I support everything religious being banned in public school, but this but but that doesn't mean they're equal. Okay, yes. Everything religious public school ban the shit out of it. Okay, you can't bring your you can't advocate for religion in public schools, but if you wear a cross as a necklace as a child, that's not sexualizing the child. Okay, if you wear one of those yep, what is that called yamaka things, right? Yamaka, yeah, yamakas on your head, that's not sexualizing children. A hijab is sexualizing children, so there's a difference. There's a difference, but even though this is worse, I support banning them all. Why not? Um, anyways, let me see what Subham is saying. Subham is saying, didn't some Muslim guy say that women are just sex tools for men? That's not actually the last news for today, so um, don't get it. Uh, Mike is saying, as a top fan, can you get other faces to talk about these issues? It's always you to... Why is it actually no? It's not just our, us two because now we have a group. Uh, it's called Atheist Republic Video Reports that everybody gets to be on our YouTube channel. Everybody gets to also be on our Facebook videos. Uh, go to the group uh, called Atheist Republic Video Reports and submit your own videos with your comments about the news or about your stories about anything, and we'll take your videos and we'll put it on our YouTube channel. So again, it's Aces Republic. So we want to represent the views from all around the world. So go ahead and do that. Just make sure you don't say anything that could get us banned on Facebook or YouTube. Okay. We're for free speech, but we also like to keep our YouTube channel. We also like to keep our Facebook page. Um, so if I'm saying, yeah, okay. I already read that. Let me see what the top comments. Did I read the top comment? No, I didn't. Top comments. Sunny is saying, love, love Australia. Okay. Fit. Fevzi is saying, great, children should not be subjected to such things. I agree. Uh, Terence is saying, excellent, Austria. Juice is saying, dogmatic religion has no place in modern world in this day and age. Chelsea is saying, don't agree with this at all. It's discriminatory. Ban all religious closing or none of it. Well, ban them all in public schools. I agree with that, but again, this is not this is worse than other religious clothing. Okay, I agree that all of them should be banned, but if you have to go with one of them, I think it should be the hijab. Uh, what else? Ab Hishek is saying excellent work, Austria. At least some people are sen are sense in this world. Again, I'm just reading what is said here. Am I saying we are not allowed to wear hats? So why should they? Um, yeah, consistency. I agree with that. Austria just as oppressing as Alabama. Suzanne is saying, what? No. Um, oh, what the hell are you talking about, Suzanne? Austria just as oppressing as Alabama? What the hell are you talking about? Wow. This is, th this is making it consistent. People think that if you, if we are not giving into people's religious privilege, that's oppressing. Well, how is this oppressing? You don't get to bring, you don't get to sexualize your children. You don't get to advocate for your religion in public schools where I bring my children. I, I mean, do these people, I'm pretty sure the Muslim parents appreciate that because I'm, if my, if I brought my kids into, I mean, I don't have kids, but if I had kids and they were Satanists and there was a rule that you don't get to bring religion into public schools, I'm pretty sure these Muslim parents would appreciate that. So just because they don't get to have separate rules for them compared to the rest of society, you think that's oppression? That's push. That's not oppression. That's equality. Uh, Paul is saying that is very sad. I can't see the harm. Well, you can't see the harm because you're not looking. What are you talking about? Let me read what Paul is saying. I just see this as Islamophobia. Oh my God. Sikh boys and the Kippa are exempt. Is it very, uh, it, is it very confused? Okay. First of all, Islamophobia is bullshit. It's not, don't use that. Use the word anti-Muslim bigotry. Okay. Islam, Islam should be feared. Okay. 
anti-Muslim bigotry is what you need to call mm, intolerance and oppression against Muslims, right? And again, this is not the form of anti-Muslim bigotry. This is a form of people using their losing their religious privilege. This is what this is. This is not sad. Sikh boys and Kepa are exempt. Why well, agree? Those should also be banned. But again, the, the, at least those things are not sexualizing children. But if there is a rule for everybody that you can't wear your religious, you know, religious symbols in school or hats or whatever, yes, I agree. It should be consistent. Ban all of them. It's a public school for crying out loud. Um, oh, David saying very good. Hope will happen everywhere and if someone doesn't like it then just go to a country where you can wear them um no no don't don't go to a country where you can wear them just get over it just get over it and change your priority if you have to sexualize your child to be able to function in a society then you need to change you don't need to move you just need to change um, primary school. Well, I don't. Yeah, by the way, primary school. I uh, checked this at six. Starts at six. So yeah, it should be banned. You don't get to sexualize children. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.